What's up guys? Thank you for joining me today. This week I will be bringing to you at home workouts that you could do and you don't even need a gym. That's right, we're gonna bring it back to the playground where it all started. We're gonna give you insight of detailed footwork, ball handling, few pickups, and if you have access to a basketball hoop, you can get some shots in too. Today we're gonna dive into what jolt dribbles are and then we're gonna work on a few combinations in our jolt dribble series with a low cross and a through the legs. Today's footwork, we're gonna check out a foot switch added in with the jolt low cross. And today's pickup is going to be a running back pickup. Like I mentioned, we will dive into the details and what the benefits are to all of those. Let's check out our jolt dribbles on the right side. This is what you can do on the left side as well. But a jolt dribble is your ability to meet the basketball at the lowest point with your arm fully extended. You tend to see these a lot splitting defense or escaping trouble. Let's check out the right side. Let's check out our jolt dribbles to our low crossover. Now, the reason why I'm putting low in there is because we wanna make sure that our crossover is staying below our knees. Again, we're gonna meet the basketball at our, at our lowest point with our arm fully extended. Then we're just gonna push that ball to each side. We're gonna continually do this left side and right side. Let's check out our jolt through the legs. Again, we're gonna continuously do this both sides. We're gonna start with the right hand. The last part of this series, combining them all. So we're gonna start on the right side, going into our jolt dribbles, going into our jolt low cross, then leading into our jolt through the legs. Again, the more you could do this on a repeat, the better your technique and your mechanics of your ball handling are gonna be. That is our jolt series going into a jolt dribble right into a jolt low cross into a jolt through the legs again do this both sides your jolt series before we start moving should take you about 10 minutes tighten up those handles both sides try to continuously do this on repeat our footwork of the day is going to be a hip switch now a hip switch is your ability to rotate lifting both feet in the air landing in the default stance out of this which would be an open drop now let's talk about first our hip switch. Again, if we have pressure on our inside hip from our defender and we wanna be able to create a little bit of space, I can rotate that inside foot back, but again, lifting both feet in the air, landing in my open drop. Our open drop, our feet would be parallel. This is gonna give me the options to go, foot replace, change direction, and obviously create that space back. With our defender here, remember, we wanna be able to stay wider than our defender because that is going to create our driving line. Now let's check out our jolt cross, changing directions on this going right to left out of our hip switch. Again, we're gonna start the ball in our right hand. Our inside foot right now is our left foot's gonna start inside of the shoes. Again, just kind of imagining that we have that defender on our inside hip. On our third pound, we're gonna hip switch, meeting the ball at that low level for our jolt cross, and we're gonna go into just a regular speed. <laughs> Now that you've completed your hip switch is going left, ending in your speed stop, and your hip switch is going right, ending in your speed stop, 
let's work on a pickup if you do have access to a basketball hoop. Our pickup today is going to be a running back pickup. Just how it sounds, a running back pickup is picking the ball up after your dribble step, hitting the ball to your chest with your outside hand covering the basketball. This is going to allow you to take that first step for a finish or to get that last step, which we call a second step for a finish. And that is your hip switch with your jolt low cross into your running back pickup, finishing either on the right or the left side, jumping off either foot. Make sure you check out tomorrow's workout, same time, same place.